What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Now in the last video I told you guys I was trying to work on a contract through all of those numerous like probably like 50 phone calls. Somebody actually ended up calling me back a few times okay within the past 48 hours. So today I think I have like six couches that I have to dispose of okay. Four of them are in the garage. Two of them nobody even knows how they got in the house okay so there are two mystery couches that i don't know how we're going to get rid of but we do have four others that we will be donating of course as always and they've already told me beforehand that if i do end up being their guy long term i'm going to stay busy so that is definitely good news as well but but you know whenever you have a hauling company sometimes you have to come back to reality a little bit it is super fun to haul and to help other people move but for some reason, it is like a pain for me right now to like get motivated to get some of this stuff out of the house so I can move into my new apartment Monday. That has been the struggle, but I do have a small donation load in the back of my truck right now. So I'm about to go drop that off. And then we're about to go to this real estate agency so we can get the key to this property and see what we're working with. I'll see you guys in a second. So we have finally arrived. Let me show you guys what's up in here. So in the garage, we have two sofas, three mattresses, and a chair. What I'm probably gonna do is take the couches first and we're gonna dispose of the mattresses completely because that is just what I typically do. I don't like fooling with mattresses at all. But yeah, so we'll get these two out and I don't think the chair will fit, but if I could toss the chair on top, it would be nice. I do plan on donating this. They honestly may not even take this chair now that I'm looking at it because it has all of these stains on it. So they may not even take the chair or this so i honestly may just take the two couches first and then we'll just throw these on top of those and then you know what i'm saying call it a day So change of plans as always. So the dump is actually further out. So I'm gonna go ahead and dispose of these completely because that's like a 30 minute drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and dispose of this. I may go ahead and be a little risky and take that chair and throw it over the top. I'm really thinking about doing and whatever that is, I'm really thinking about just throwing that over the top and calling it a day, but I don't know yet. So of course we are now at the dump and with it being a Wednesday, it is a beautiful day to be at the dump. So as you can see, he's pulling out now. It is now our turn if they don't uh, pull in the HVAC, but I only got these mattresses on the back. All right, so this is the last little itty bitty junk load. So I just toss it all up in there cause it's not really enough to really make a difference. It was all gonna fit regardless. So we will be dropping this off at the dump. And since we have some time, I'm gonna go ahead and just grab me some lunch. And then I'm gonna go ahead and dispose of this because I have all the way till three o'clock and it is currently one on one. So I'm gonna go ahead, eat lunch now, then drop this off. And then I could just knock out these last two couches. So I will see you guys when we come back for the couches. I'm gonna go ahead and skip me unload and all of that crap, okay? So we beat the clock and I was saying how I was gonna make them into separate trips. Well, I ain't do that. Hey, I made Coach Bob strong today, boy. Y'all don't know who Coach Bob is. Well, folks that know me from back at home know who Coach Bob is. I loaded both of these couches by myself. I was, I looked at the time and I was like, no, nah, bro, because they close at 4.30. I do not want to hold this key overnight or drop off the key. I want to hand them this key so they see that the job is complete. Ain't nothing I can do about those couches on the inside. So your boy's about to haul these off and we are done for the day, finally. All right, you guys, so this kind of sort of doesn't have anything to do with junk removal, but it kind of does at the same time. So. Your boy is all packed up. I ain't gonna say 100%, probably like 98% packed up so we can get ready to move in the morning. 
Unfortunately, though, what sucks is the fact that there is a thunderstorm going on right now. So I was honestly about to take a whole bunch of my stuff and load it up into the truck tonight. So literally, as soon as I wake up in the morning, all I have to do, drive to my new place, drop the stuff off on the balcony, and then I could just come back and, you know what I'm saying, continue doing whatever I was doing. But with it being a thunderstorm, not gonna worry about it. We're just gonna scratch that idea. So we'll probably end up getting up maybe like, ooh, probably like six in the morning, maybe like six, seven ish. Wake up at like six, seven o'clock, go ahead and load up the truck, take everything over there, unload it, come back, try to see what else that we can grab. I do have my friend meet me at like 10 o'clock because I get my key at nine o'clock. So he'll be meeting me at 10 and get this couch, which I'm about to show you guys here in just a second. Cause I actually wanted to just see it full display. I wanted to see exactly how big it was in person before I got there. Okay. So with the couch situation, I don't know. I kind of got myself into something, but anyways, yeah, like I said, my friend is going to help me move the couch and just the heavier things that I need taken in. But let me go ahead and show you this couch because I'm tired of talking about it. So with this couch right here, again, it is a curved split sofa. So if you move this out, it's actually like some like black clips in there. You can clip it together, but I don't have it completely together. I just pushed them super close because I mean, I have to move it. So there's no point in me fastening it up. But uh, yeah, we have everything loaded up. This was the cart that I was about to get ready to take outside, but like I said, it's a thunderstorm, so I can't do it. We have everything else. This is like straight kitchen stuff, just, just all kinds of stuff. But one thing that I do like is a lot of my crap can actually go in boxes. And shout out to Miss Donna. She actually went and recycled these bad boys, but your boy went dumpster diving and I found these boxes. So shout out to Donna, whoever you are. Thank you. All right, you guys, it is now the next morning. And I'm not going to lie, like I said earlier in this video, bro, like my business calls for me to move a whole bunch of stuff around. But it's like when you have to do it for yourself, it is really a struggle. Okay, it's really a struggle. But as you can see, we got a good... Well, really all of the boxes basically are knocked out. But to start off this whole entire process, right? Guess what's the first thing that happened this morning? Stepped in dog crap, okay? So I literally went to go take the first load of like my bins, clothes and all of that good stuff. I went to drop that off and it was a lot of mulch like right in front of the patio. And you know what I'm saying? I just wasn't paying attention. And plus when it comes down to like super dark mulch and dog poop, it's really hard for your eye to catch. And I stepped straight into it in my hokas. Bless my hokas hearts because they have been vomited on. They have been bled on. And now they have stepped in dog poop. But like I said, I basically got everything knocked out. My friend is going to meet me at 10 o'clock. But the main problem that we come into right now is a time problem. Time. One of my coworkers did just ask me if I would be able to come in today because we are short, as always, in healthcare. I may end up going into work like later in the afternoon. But before I even do that, I got to get all of this stuff inside. And then I have to go up the road and grab these last two couches from the house that you saw earlier in this video. We got to move like lightning. Like we got to be teleporting around the city. So I really really am confident that I can drop this off and come back before 10 o'clock with mainly like everything that I need. Okay. Basically all of the necessities. I don't even have to be out of this place completely until July 31st. So we can use that to our advantage and it's not really that far away from where I'm standing now. So it's not super out of the way, but at the same time, I don't know. Time is really, you know what I'm saying? We got tight windows here. We got to make that money. You know what I'm saying? But that is the everyday life when it comes down to having your own business and you're still working full time basically. Cause I do still work three days, 12 hour shifts. Yeah. So this is, this is more in to exactly what's going on but anyways it is now 8 57 so still pretty good timing so i'm about to go drop this off i can actually pick up my key at nine o'clock so i can start bringing all of this stuff inside and i can empty at least a couple of tubs to get some of this other stuff like my computers and gadgets and stuff like that and my shoes and come back get that and then basically everything is you know what I'm saying? Pretty much knocked out, okay? Because the couch will be one load and the mattress and the bed frame. I don't know. I'll probably end up getting that in the next load. I don't know, but time is money. Let's roll. All right, so we are not 100% moved in, but we close. As you can see, I got a whole bunch of clutter just everywhere. But I'm going to flip the camera around just to give y'all a little snippet of what we got going on. So there's my coffee table right here. I've been so excited to show you guys this, but it's basically like a custom like stained kind of glass in there, like mirror type deal. So I'm gonna clean that up. I'm saying we got the curved sofa, split sofa that we gotta put the legs on and get it ready. This is just a little sneak peek. I'll show you guys 
the room too while I'm in here. I got my shoes all over the floor right now and my TV on the floor. I ain't worried about a bed right now. But you know what I'm saying? I just had to give y'all a little quick sneak peek. You know what I'm saying? Now, I will be doing a full home tour. As soon as I get everything like set up and everything, I'm going to do a full in-depth tour. So if you are new to the channel and you don't want to miss out on that, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out. But now that we got all of this here, it is 1.49. So a little bit behind time. I had to stop and eat. But uh, a little bit behind time, not necessarily too bad. Now I'm about to hop back in the truck and I'm about to go to this property and get rid of this couch really quick. I can still technically make it to the disposal. Uh, I don't know. I may honestly just sit it in the bed of the truck for right now and just dispose of it Wednesday when I have more time. That may be the game plan. And then whenever I dispose of it, that of course opens up my bed again to where I can get like the last minute stuff from my old apartment into here. So that, that may be the game plan, but I will see you guys at this property. All right, so we have finally made it. And I'm not gonna lie, the phone call that I did receive earlier, I wasn't honestly expecting this stuff to be like, exactly what they said so they couldn't actually get the couches out so somebody literally came in with an axe and they chopped up the couch into smaller pieces so i have to haul away this couch and some of this like other trash back here i'm assuming because i mean it's back here so i'm just assuming that is what we got to get done but i'm gonna show you guys this so here is the couch they got completely destroyed we probably have to end up taking that mattress too i'm not exactly sure i'm gonna call them back just in case to be on the safe side and there's like some trash bags and stuff uh but yeah so let's get to work and just like that guys we are done literally probably like 20 minutes now this is not the most securest load but it is loaded and i'm not gonna lie I'm just gonna find a dumpster and dispose of all of the cushions because the couch fit perfect, but it's just the cushions that made this like super, super hard. So I'm gonna try to strap it down the best that I can with the bungee cords. And then I'm just gonna try to get rid of these cushions like today. Because if I can get rid of those, I don't mind sitting the couch in the bed for, you know, 24 hours. All right, so there we go. Now that we have that done, your boy is about to get ready. I think I'm gonna actually go into work, okay? I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick up probably like four or five hours real quick, just to, you know what I'm saying? Just to get a little something, something just to top it on off. But uh, yeah, if you are new to the channel, be sure to drop a like, subscribe. I have more of these types of videos on the way. Remember, I will be doing an apartment tour, full apartment tour, so you guys can see, you know what I'm saying, how you, what your boy did lately, okay? You know what I'm saying? Hard work pays off. Work hard, play harder. So, you know what I'm saying? Our next couple videos will be us a little, might get, might get kind of kind of playing a little bit more. The people who I'm actually removing this for, we may end up working long term. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? Your boy may be pretty loaded quite often, okay? But again, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you did enjoy. Your boy is tired, and I will see you guys in the next one. I'm out.